Oh, who will benefit most from the sought after commercial space? Here with her thoughts is senior fellow at the Independent Women's Forum, Beverly Hallberg. Beverly, thanks so much for being here. You say Mike Bloomberg is going to get the biggest bump. Why? I think it could, or I should say it's most important to him because, as you just mentioned, the Iowa caucuses kick off the day after the Super Bowl. Bloomberg will not be on that ticket. He's actually hoping that his political advertising is going to carry him through Super Tuesday, which, when it, which is when he's actually on the ballot. So I think for him, that is what is important, is trying to get some traction in this campaign. The question I have for Democrat voters, though, we were talking about a party who typically doesn't like to insert money into campaigns, or so they say. So are they okay with a billionaire doing most of his campaigning through ad buying? He's actually broken political records, spending almost up to $170 million on political ads at this point. So are they okay with money potentially buying a campaign? Yeah, like you said, $10 million for Trump, $10 million for Bloomberg for these 60-second spots to air during the Super Bowl. And you also said this is really to set up Bloomberg's push to Super Tuesday, basically ignoring the first couple of contests and focusing entirely on Super Tuesday. Do you think that's a good strategy? Well, I think it's the only strategy that he can do at this point. I think he knew he didn't have enough traction in Iowa and, of course, New Hampshire. But he is getting a ton of name recognition. He already had strong name ID, of course, being mayor of New York and us hearing his name. But he's hoping that political ads, which, by the way, I'm seeing everywhere. You go on Facebook, they're there. You go on YouTube, they're there. So we are seeing Michael Bloomberg everywhere. His social media um, accounts are also very active. So we are hearing hearing about him, that does matter. The question is, what is this ad going to really talk about, and is that what voters really want? Yeah, good question. Obviously, the nation doesn't necessarily know Mike Bloomberg as well as they do Donald Trump, but do you think Donald Trump's going to get any boost from his Super Bowl ad? Absolutely, and, and this is new for a president to have an ad of this this type during a Super Bowl. He did last year. Last year, he did a sit-down interview with Face the Nation, and that interview aired shortly before the Super Bowl. But this is new for a presidential candidate who is a current president to do an ad like this. But I think what he is trying to do is, first of all, um, trying to drown out impeachment just a little bit, show what he has done. I think you're going to have a very positive message talking about the economy, talking about the victories he's had in trade. So I think for him, this is positive and it shows people, hey, I'm still in this race. I'm moving, looking forward to November. And the polls are still showing that people are a fan of Donald Trump in spite of the impeachment process. You mentioned that this is new and that sort of makes me ask the question, do Americans want this on their Super Bowl, which is supposed to be a respite from all things political, at least it was. Do they really want these these political ads or do they want ads for Budweiser and chips and all that good stuff? I think people tend to like having a little break from politics on Super Bowl um, Sunday. But at the same time, we say that politics usually aren't involved in these campaign ads. But yet we often see climate change ads during the right. Super Bowl. There usually is some type of political messaging. We just don't see it with candidates nearly as much. What I think is fascinating about this is the Fox Network has decided to put their own in-house promotional ads around these commercials because it seems that some of the other clients didn't want to be butted before for or after these political ads. So the network is trying to pad right. that just a little bit. But uh, people are going to watch it. We're talking about it. So I think it's a smart move by both of these individuals. You get 100 million eyeballs. It's tough to do yeah, that really right. in any other event. Beverly Hallberg, thank you so much. Great insight here this morning. Appreciate it.